supporting CHR's annual Adopt-A-Family campaign. Maureen McGuire is CHR's Senior Vice President for Advancement, and Rosalind Amaker is the Clinical Program Director at CHR. They're joining us now to talk all about it. Thank you so much for joining us here this morning. Let's uh, start with exactly what CHR is. Great, well, I can answer that. Um, so CHR is a comprehensive nonprofit behavioral health care agency. Uh, we offer a wide range of programs and services for people of all ages, children, families, and adults whose lives have been touched by mental illness, um, addiction, trauma, homelessness, and more. Okay, can you talk to us a little bit about the annual Adopt-A-Family program? Sure. So adoptive family has been a tradition at CHR for about 15 years. Um, and like many great ideas, it goes back to our staff. Um, our staff realized that a lot of parents were having a hard time around the holidays, uh, and it was very difficult for them to afford gifts for their children. So um, we started a process whereby clinicians will nominate families or individuals who are having a hard time financially around the holidays. And then um, the families create wish lists, and those wish lists are then matched with donors from the community who help to fulfill the wish lists and, and provide presents for the families. Okay, so that's a little bit about how uh, it works. Um, can we get into some more detail about how people can get involved? Well, sure. Um, we've had a tremendous response this year, and we have a record number of families that are in need of uh, gifts this year. So the easiest way to get involved is to visit our website, which is www.chrhealth.org. And uh, there's a button you can click right from the homepage to make a donation toward Adopt-A-Family. And then there's also information right on the website about Adopt-A-Family and ways to participate. Um, we also have a distinct email box if anyone wanted to send us an email if they have any questions about getting involved. And that's AAF at chrhealth.org. Okay, we'll make sure that's all available on the Channel 3 app as well. So uh, Maureen and Rosalind, can you talk to us a little bit about why this is important to the individuals and families who are receiving care at CHR? Well, I can answer that. I think that, you know, we provide um, a sense of community for our, our uh, clients but also it gives them a relief and a stress, you know, it's a stress to have to buy gifts for their children if they can't afford it. And this gives them a lot of opportunities to receive those gifts and not even the kids don't even have to know it's from CHR. I think it gives them also a sense of like, you know, being able to just give and celebrate the holiday and not have to worry about financially being in a hole. So I do, I do think that it, the parents receive a lot from that. Oh, I can only imagine. So, um, so far, I know that we're just at the beginning of the season, but how are things going so far this year? Well, so far, they're going really well. I, there's a lot of donors. We definitely need some more. What I like about CHR as well is that they offer this opportunity to employees as well, so employees can get involved as well. And then, was there, I'm sorry, we didn't want to cut anybody off. Was there anything else that we wanted to talk about in terms of how the adoptive family is going? Well, I just wanted to add that, you know, we've we've had a real um, increase in the number of families who are participating mm -hmm. this year, who will be participating this year. And that's not surprising because we've had a real um, increase in the number of people seeking services for behavioral health care after the pandemic. I was going to say that sounds like it could have been related to the pandemic, but you just answered that question. So um, yeah. if people are looking for services, how do they reach out to you for those kinds of things as well? Uh, again, our, our, the website is a great place, is a great resource. Um, you can learn more about our programs and services and our locations where we have locations throughout Central and Eastern Connecticut. Um, and you can also find, uh, you can request an appointment online and you can find our the number for our triage center to talk to someone right away. Okay, fantastic. And then getting back to the adoptive family program, because I know we're still not quite to Halloween just yet. We got a couple of days left, but then we go full force into holiday mode and it's going to be uh, very important for people to get involved. We want to make sure that we're driving that home so that people who are able to can help. Uh, you said the website is obviously a great place to go and then the email as well. 
Absolutely. Yep. The website, chrhealth.org and um, the email, which is AAF at chrhealth.org. Okay. Ladies, is there anything that we missed here this morning that you think is really important for all of our viewers uh, to be aware of? I think just also reminding, you know, that, you know, it feels really good to give. So, you know, one of the gifts that we can give is just being able to give to others in the community that are less fortunate than us. Wonderful. That's such a nice, a nice sentiment to, to end on here this morning. Maureen and Rosalind, thank you so much. For more information, again, thank you, you can visit chrhealth.org or give them a call at the number that we're going to get for you on your screen. It is 1-877-884-3571. And again, all of that information will be posted up on the Channel 3 app. Thank you so much, ladies.